This is a data set of baseball hitters. Uh, it includes two baseball players. One is called Mickey Mantle and the other one is called Mike Schmidt. And it's taken from Workshop Statistics, Discovery with Data and Bayesian Approach by James Albert and Alan Rossman. So first thing, always look at the variable view. Have a check here. You can see that some of the values are defined. So what Apart from that, you can see that's a nominal, which is correct, because that's their name. Uh, the seasons is nominal, so it's a numerical value. And what you're actually looking at is the number of home runs per season. So the seasons 1951, so Mickey Mantle was playing between 1951 and 1968. And Mike Schmidt was playing between 1973 and 1988. So that's why season in this case has been defined as a nominal measure because it's not particularly important because they don't overlap in ranges you're not comparing one year to of one player to one year of another player so what we're going to do this time is a five figure summary of each of the baseball hitters so what i need for a five figure summary i need the maximum the minimum the first quartile the third quartile and the median now I can get the maximum and minimum and the median by going to descriptive statistics or analyze descriptive statistics explore so I want to find the median the maximum and minimum number of home runs for each of the different players so that's the variable I want to find my five-figure summary of. And I want to do different one for each of the different players. So I put the player in as a factor. So this will give me two sets of analysis. I only want the statistics. I don't want to look at the plots. That just adds extra layers of complexity for this thing. And I just want to look at the table of data at the moment. So I press OK. Now I can see the means for Mickey Mantle and Mike Schmidt, but I don't want that. I can see confidence intervals, but we'll come back to that later. What I actually need to know is the minimum is 18, the maximum is 54, the minimum is 12, the maximum is 48 in this case, and the medians are 30, and the median here is 36. So those are the first three numbers that I need, but I can't get the first and third quartile here. So what I want to do is go back and do another anal analyze and descriptive statistics. And if I did explore, if I clicked on the statistics button, then I can put, then I can calculate what they call here the percentiles. So it's within SPSS it's called percentiles. Within R it's called quantiles, but they are actually the quartiles and the function within uh, Excel are the quartile functions but do not use the original quartile function in excel because it is now been replaced by quartile exc for exclusive and quartile inc for inclusive right so click on percentiles and I'll click on continue and go okay now i can see so the first quartile is 21.3 uh, 21.5 sorry and the third quartile which is the 75th percentile is 38.5 for Mickey Mantle and for Mike Schmidt the first quartile is 31.5 and the third quartile is 38 so now to put all those numbers together to get my five figure summary for Mickey Mantle I have minimum 18 first quartile 21.5 Median, 30. Third quartile, 38.5. Maximum, 54. So that's the five numbers that you should use to summarize that set of data.